what are the basic ones right now that Churchill is offering? Okay, so, um, so the basic ones you have conventional, yeah, FHA, okay, USDA, okay, VA, okay, and then we'll say other, and other, okay, okay. So right. other would include jumbo, um, what we call QM, yeah, and some others. You, there's some unique mortgages where okay. people have unique situations. Those play much less of a role, okay. but they're available for people who have unique situations. Conventional mortgages, you can put down as little as 3%. Yeah, okay, okay. And there are situations where people can put down hardly anything. Wow. I have a lady who, um, oh, not lady, I have, I have some people uh, who, in this competitive market, um, still are able to use down payment assistance programs. Really? It's very, very infrequent, okay. but it's normally in a situation where they know the seller. Mm. And so they have time because if there's multiple offers, the seller is normally like, I'm not going to use a down payment assistance program when I have less complicated offers. Yeah. So you also have do other, right? Yeah. But conventional loans okay. have between three percent down yeah. and as much as you want down. As much, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at 3% down, you have mortgage insurance. Yep. That can be nominal if your credit score is perfect. Mm. It can be prohibitive if your credit score is under 680. If it's under 680, prohibitive, and meaning, and then let's just say, this worst case scenario, let's say your ballpark credit score is a 590. Can only do a conventional loan down to 620. 620. Unless it's two people and there's a special little new tweak gotcha. where one person can have a lower score sometimes and the other ones can balance it out. Okay. They have to call me and I'll... Break that down. Break it down. Yeah. Give them a call. Every once in a while, you can work it. We'll link his info. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so let's say, let's say they got 630. What could that PMI be? Like, because I, I don't like PMIs. You know that. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, I get it. I mean, I, I totally get it because, P, I mean, to avoid a PMI, you need to have 20% equity in a home. Mm -hmm. And that is a lot of money down, mm -hmm. you know, in this market. If you're buying a house that, let's say, what, let's say in our area, you're not buying a house in, in, in PG County for less than $400,000. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money down. It's a lot. It's a lot. And so that PMI on a 630, what's that, about $100 per $100,000? Oh. It's more? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it could be, it's prohibitive. That's the thing. <laughs> you, and that's where you would look at an, an, the next type of loan, an FHA loan. Okay. Where you can put down as little as 3.5% to as much as you want. The thing is with FHA, you pay mortgage insurance on a monthly basis and upfront. Yes. You pay upfront 1.75%, right. no matter what. No matter what. And you pay monthly 0.85%, no matter what, for at least 11 years if you put down 10%. And for the life of the loan, life, yeah. no matter what. It's a percentage of the amount of the loan. Yeah. So 0.85% annually. So um, on a $100,000 loan, you're talking about $83 a month initially, and it goes down. And which is why I actually prefer, Would you, as a loan officer, would you prefer conventional over F F F FHA? Conventional you have to do in competitive situations, and yes, I prefer conventional because of the mortgage insurance. Goes because, away. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. All right. And so one thing I learned from uh, Craig, my loan officer, was um, there is a difference between, because you mentioned in the other, like, jumbo loan. Once you go past the city's or the county's limit, correct, that rolls into a jumbo loan. Correct. But every county has different limits. Correct. That is so, can you break that down for us? Because to me, I'm like, what? Because we were looking at PG County, mm -hmm. Howard County, mm -hmm. and then another county where the school district was real good. Mm -hmm. But PG County had the highest amount that I could borrow. Mm -hmm. And at other Howard, it, it, was, it was less. And I was like, wait, that makes no sense. It actually does. It so does. It's based on what's called MSA, Metropolitan Statistical Area. Okay. So... Prince George's County uh -huh. and the surrounding counties to a metropolitan area. In this case, Washington, D.C., but you look at Los Angeles yep. and the surrounding counties, Houston and surrounding counties, Chicago. Yep. Yep. Those surrounding counties make up what's called a metropolitan statistical area. Okay. And it's based upon the incomes from the uh, statistics from the... Um, um, sampling annual st census, ah. census data. 
And so they update the inf that information periodically, and then they come up with the periodic loan limits and they map it back. Yeah. In Baltimore's metropolitan statistical area, right. the numbers are different. Yeah. Because yeah. the incomes are different. Incomes are. Howard County's is a little bit different, as you mentioned. Yeah. That being said, that's what determines those county loan limits. But there is a national number, and exactly. then it kind of maps back so off of county. that as well. Which is why it's very important for people to give you a call. Exactly. Because it's like, I didn't know that moving. I didn't know that. Like, I, I didn't, for some odd reason, I'm the money guy. I'll be honest. The and numbers change, too. And that's the thing. They change periodically. They ch they can change year to year. and They change. You're absolutely right. Because right when I was getting my loan for this house, it was about to change, like, in a month. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, you might be able to get a little bit more, Anthony, but you got to wait another month. And I was like, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. I got to move. <laughs> so this this is... Who is citizen, y'all? This this is why I bought right to the table and Churchill, uh, because these are people. One thing I love about them is they have a teaching um, uh, method. So of, of course they're gonna make money off of helping you get into a mortgage. But what I love about them is they're gonna educate you along the process. To this day, Craig, what up, Craig? Uh, still reaches out to me. Still gives me information. Still is teaching me. After I closed, he saw something on my house, on a contract, and said, hey, I'm going to give you a heads up, ABC. I was like, okay, that's what's up, man. I appreciate you. And he's giving, he's educating me. This is why, no disrespect to the other companies out there, but I mean this, they, they can't compete with Churchill because they have a heart of a teacher, um, which I learned that from my, my friend and mentor, Dave Ramsey. Um, they're going to take real good care of you. And also, they're going to assist you. They're going to walk with you the entire process. So if you're thinking about getting a mortgage today, tomorrow, uh, in the fall, next year, go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash church heal. We're going to drop the information in, in the show notes and start the conversation with your rep. They're in all the states, you know, so give them a call. They'll take good care of you. Tell them that Anthony O'Neill sent you. And they will definitely take good care of you. And if they don't, yo, email me. Email me and my team. You know, I I, I I know some big people over there. We can make a phone call. We can make a good phone call that will help you out. Trust me. Uh, but I know you won't give me that email. I know you're not going to send me that because, um, like I said, I haven't had not one issue. They've saved me money. Um, they've educated me and said, hey, don't do this in this area because this is not good. We need to go a different area. And so, and they don't rush you, you know. They're, they want to put you into a home that you can afford, that you will enjoy. And I love that. So go to anthonyneal.com forward slash Churchill. The number one question, Ray, I'm, I'm asked is, is now a good time to buy? It's a good, it's a great question. That's the number one it's question. It's a great question. And that's the number one question I get because people are scared. Because when you look at, um, I was, it was in the morning before I worked out the other day, I was looking at an article on Yahoo and it was, um, the markets are overheating. And they were rehashing another article from Florida Atlantic University mm. that looked at the top 100 markets in the country. And the data said from the three authors that uh, the markets were overheated in comparison to their historical numbers. But they also went on to say that because of the shortages in housing, essentially it was okay yeah. from what I could gather. But the headline was scary. There was another article I saw, it was also on Yahoo, that said that prices were going down next year. Yeah. But then when I read the underlying article, it actually said that appreciation would go from 18% to 15%. Mm. So I said, what's going on? Why are things so scary? Yeah. Um, I think headlines grab attention. Yeah. And um, when people call me and and they have that fear, it's because it does take a lot to buy a house mm -hmm. and it's it's easier to rent. But it's very important first, before you say is now a good time, to say back on what you said, the why. I think it's important to know that if you don't buy a house now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y you may be paying someone's mortgage forever and your kids' kids may be paying a mortgage forever. No, you don't buy a house if it's not the right time. Right. It's like you said, if you have five hundred dollars in your bank, you don't rush out and do it. Right. Because the worst thing you can do is buy a house. Yeah. Yeah. 
and fail. That's it. I, and just just as an aside to support this, yeah. Um, my trainer um, at the boxing gym, he asked me to do a career day. I came out, did the career day. Little little uh, Hispanic girl was like, um, "Hey, you know, um, my parents' house was foreclosed on. Mm. Can you tell me about that?" Mm. I'm like, "This little girl's sixth grade." Sixth grade. Yeah. I was like, my job is serious. Wow. You can't play around in my job. Yeah. You you cannot give a bad mortgage to somebody. Right, right, right. If you're a loan officer, it's a very serious job. Absolutely. Absolutely.